this is an immense time saver. Uh, rather than doing this kind of stuff on the set and playing around with it, you right. can get most of this done in advance. Yes, and that's a, that's a huge thing because, you know, time is money, and uh, the average feature shoot, I think, is something like $60,000 an hour. So, you know, if this could save you an hour... But, but even more than that, it's... Um, like, we've had another example where we had a uh, ASC cinematographer who was shooting a commercial in uh, San Francisco, and he was in L.A., and his flight was delayed. And But because he had pre-visualized in Frameforge, he was able to send up stuff that had all the camera information, that had all exactly where the camera was viewing, which meant the lighting people could set up the lighting and know that it was going to be out of the place of the camera, and by the time he got to the shoot, everything was set up, he was ready to go, and they wrapped on time. It can also give you actor and equipment reports. So along with the um, shot, the overhead, and all the camera stuff, it can list all the actors who are visible in the shot. It can list all the film equipment that you actually have on the set. So if you've laid out this many feet of dolly track, and it's, you know, so it can give you all that kind of information. So it integrates so much more into the production than a storyboard simply can. Well, now, we see how, it, how this works in a 2D set. Is there any special application for it in 3D? Yes. Uh, 3D, of course, presents its, its whole new set of problems. And so the first thing we did was we created 3D stereo rigs so that basically we, we have pretty much all the cameras. And, and the thing about the cameras, which I didn't really mention, is the cameras are optically correct. So you say I'm shooting at this aspect ratio with this camera and the focal lengths will exactly match what you're going to see through that camera. In um, addition, so uh, if you're shooting, a lot of people shoot with focal primes, um, which means that, that you'll have fixed lenses of fixed length. You could say, these are the lenses I have, a, a 5 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 100 millimeter, whatnot. And then it will only allow you to prepare using those focal lengths. You could also say we have a ceiling at eight feet, so it won't allow you to go beyond eight feet. We start, of course, with a uh, 3D rig, and they're basically two types, the beam splitter and the side-by-side -side rigs. We have both. Both can be customized to the parameters of the rig you're actually using. And um, the big thing about 3D, of course, is the parallax, which is what creates the sense of depth because our eyes always converge on what we're looking at. Now, what we'll see here in the overhead view is now a little different. Our, our camera has the same angle of view, but we have these green lines that show the, the, what the lines from, directly from the camera. If, you have, if you're shooting parallel, they're straight parallel. This blue line here represents where they converge and that's called the screen plane because visually that's what appears to be on the screen. If I want to find out how far away she is, I could click on her and instantly I get that's her distance, that's the parallax, um, and that's the, how, what the parallax width is going to be on the given screen that I've defined. What I can also do is I can say if I want her to be on at the screen plane, I can set this to zero, and I can say adjust my rig's um, convergence, which is how much it's pointed in, and then um, all I do is I click where I want, and she, if you notice, sort of snapped into focus. That's because at the screen plane, the parallax is zero, and then everything else, if we were looking at this with the red uh, cyan glasses, would pop forward and pop back and so on. And then up here at the corner, we could see where the, the far line is. Another great little feature that we have allows us to automatically look through the scene. And basically what it does is it identifies the nearest object and the farthest visible object and gives us a report as to what is the actual parallax of, of the farthest and nearest and can give us an out-of-range warning. Ken, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Have a great show. Thanks.